Hi all, I am Shoham and I am here to present our paper FinRAD Financial Readability Assessment Dataset 13000 Plus Definitions of Financial Terms for Measuring Readability Mr. Sengupta, Dr. Noskar, Dr. Singh and I contributed towards this research. We are affiliated to Fidelity Investments, Jadapur University and Bits Planning India. Overview Our objective is to assess readability of definitions of financial terms. To do so, we present a dataset FinRAD. It consists of financial terms, their definitions and their embeddings. We have manually assigned binary readability scores to the definitions and compared them with traditional rule-based readability scores. Subsequently, we have developed few neural-based uh, baselines using transformer-based architectures to automatically classify these definitions as readable or not. Background Some of the existing readability scores include Automated Readability Index, Flace Reading Ease, smog index score and so on. They primarily use rule-based formulas to calculate readability scores. All these measures calculate a readability score based on US education system's grade level or the years of education a reader might require to understand a text content. They are not specific for the financial domain. They are not specific for the financial text as well. Workflow. We present the entire workflow in this slide. Firstly, we collect data from various sources. These include scraping web pages, extracting glossaries from books and so on. After clearing the raw data set, each definition was tagged as readable or not readable. Finally, a tool named FinRAD, which we uh, presented at a conference last year, was developed to automatically assess readability of definitions of financial terms. Data Collection and Annotation We collected the terms from 13 different data sources. A list of these sources are mentioned here. Definitions from sources like uh, school level textbooks and public websites suitable for masses were assigned a readability score of 1. The reason b behind this is the information from these sources are consumed mostly by beginners, school students and by the masses. To understand the definitions which were obtained from other sources, one needs to have at least undergraduate level uh, knowledge specific to the financial domain. Thus, they are assigned a readability score of 0. This gave us 7604 terms with readability score of 1 and 5508 instances with readability score of 0. An assigned readability score of 1 represents the term's definition that are easily readable and 0 represents the definitions that are comparatively complex in nature or less readable. To validate this assumption, we identified 112 additional terms and extracted their definitions from both kinds of sources, that is, having readability score equals to 0 and 1. We manually inspected each of the definitions and assigned them a readability score that is 0 or 1. In 79.91% of the cases, the manual assignment was in agreement with the assumption. We started by studying the distribution of number of sentences in the definitions across different sources. This figure summarizes the distribution of average number of sentences per definition used to define the terms across various sources. As evident from this plot, the
the economist has definitions with the highest average number of sentences approximately 4 sentences we further compared the average number of sentences per definition across uh, the assigned readability segments it is quite interesting to note that the number of sentences per definition in the readable set is higher than that of the non readable set moreover the average sentence length that is number of tokens per sentence for readability set is 24 0.03 and uh, the non readable set is 17.22 this is because the authors tend to use more words and shorter sentences to simplify concepts subsequently we studied the distribution of average number of tokens present in the definitions across uh, different sources the average number of tokens per definition are approximately 80 and uh, 64 for the definitions obtained from the readable sources like economist the economist investopedia uh, respectively this reconfirms our uh, previous finding that authors tend to explain more to simplify concepts in addition to this we compared the average number of tokens across different readability segments we observe that readable definitions have around 27 tokens more than the non readable ones word clouds are uh, quite helpful to generate meaningful insights about text data they offer an interesting option to visually represent the frequency of different words present in a corpus for ease of exposition we have presented the word clouds of different i mean word clouds of terms for uh, one of the key sources it accounts for most uh, almost 30% of the entire dataset furthermore for effective comparison we have uh, presented word clouds of readable and non readable definitions of financial terms in the same figure quite evidently the frequent terms present in the non readable definitions are more complex than those of the readable ones we also study the correlation between standard readable uh, readability scores and uh, present them on the right hand side of this slide an instance from uh, finrad is presented here it consists of financial terms their definitions from uh, source uh, various sources from which they have been uh, collected i mean it consists of financial terms their definitions and the sources from which they have been collected and uh, the assigned binary readability scores in this slide we present the task formally given a set d comprising definitions of financial terms and their readability scores our task is to develop a system capable of classifying an unknown definition as readable or not we divide the dataset into two parts keeping the event rate same the training set consisting of 67% of the dataset and the validation set uh, consisting of nearly 33% of the dataset questions firstly we studied how standard readability scores like fri ARI SIS DCF etc performed in a domain specific setting like this in this slide we present the results it is quite clear that the performance on validation set calculated using this score was not up to the mark the best au roc was only 0.4986 using flesh reading index this brings in the need to explore alternate methods to assess readability of financial terms definitions R results and discussions here we present the performance of the models trained using machine learning we use tf idf matrix sentence embeddings extracted using bert and finbert to numerically represent the definitions 
we uh, trained several machine learning models over this this list of machine learning models include uh, uh, logistic regression random forest gradient boosting machines xgboost and lightgpm we also fine tuned a finbert model such that its a cls token learns how to classify the definitions into readable and non readable classes this performed the best with an area under the roc curve of 0.9927 how to access this dataset if you want to access this dataset you can directly get it from the link mentioned here conclusions we have prepared a corpus comprising glossaries of financial terms their definitions and readability scores some of the thought provoking research questions are do the predicted readability scores correlate with human judgments can we have better matrices to measure the performance of the models can we develop unsupervised formula based readability scores specific to the financial domain can we use natural language generation methods to simplify definitions thank you any questions you can also reach out to me by email